guys, what's up? Sherry here from No Effects Giving Crew. Divine Feminine, welcome to this week's yin reading for May the 6th until the 13th. I hope you're all doing well. So I'm going to do an elemental reading and then a crystal ball for the extended version. Okay, so this will be for the emotional space. I'm using Call It, Baron Reed, uh, the Good Tarot. Okay, so for the mental space, I'm going to use John Holland's Psychic Tarot of the Heart. And so for the physical, I'm going to use John Holland Psychic Tarot. Whoa, so I guess it's that one. And for the spiritual, um, Fairy by Lenormand. Oops, I flipped around too soon. Okay, and so for the soul, I'm going to use Yosho Zen. Okay, so let's begin. So starting with the emotional space. The star card, wow. Um, so this card showed up in your present position as well for the Twin Flame reading. So this is healing, um, very calming, um, hopeful energy for the future. Um, I don't know, for some reason I want to just look at the description. I like that picture, so number 17, Major Arcana. So it says, um, star, inspiration, I am hopeful and inspired by life right now and everything that is happening uh, points to renewed sense of encouragement. After all the change I've experienced, I'm starting to recognize the hope that comes with new beginnings. Wow. So there was a lot of aces in the past position, um, a, you know, a sense of a new beginning, um, happening for the feminine and feeling hopeful for the future um, manifesting love into her life so emotionally you feel like you know you're healing um, very calm positive vibrations you're feeling hopeful for the future so what's in your mental space wow the three of cups share the love so mentally you're thinking about you know, offering your love, reconnecting, um, sharing your love with somebody else. So these are the thoughts that are crossing your mind. Um, so, yeah, I mean, don't think about it. Share your love. Sharing um, a connection with somebody shouldn't be something that you need to consider, right? Be open with your love and generous with your love. physical, stand your ground, seven of wands. So um, in your physical environment, there may be people who are challenging you. You feel, you know, you've risen to this higher level and you feel that other people want to take your place. So you need to find that confidence and that strength in order to, to speak up, speak out, and hold your position. So in the physical, what I'm sensing from this is the feminine um, being in this powerful role and the Queen of Fire was actually very prominent energy. So I can see the Queen of Fire standing here um, in her power, you know, vibrating this leadership, um, charismatic 
energy into the universe and the physical. Spiritually, she is the 21. So let me just look at that. That talks about, you know, being, going on a journey. And although there are these really pointy, um, elevated mountains and obstacles standing in your way, you are being divinely guided. If you look in the bush, there's these little fairies that are guiding you. So let's just have a quick peek here. Okay, so durability. So it relates to and uh, and describes the enduring nature of survival and growth. So obstacles, um, direction. Yeah. So the mountains are carved out by glaciers and stand a testament to great strength. Um, this card talks about the backbone, a place of sanctuary and protection from hostility. So drawing upon hidden forces which are naturally available when we are forced to extract them. Al alternatively, this position can show your greatest obstacle at this time. So spiritually, even though, like I said, there are obstacles, there are people challenging you, um, you are being guided, right? It's, things don't feel so insurmountable. Um, you can take on these challenges, you know, and emotionally you're in a very beautiful space. Open yourself up mentally, share, connect with other people. Something that's drawing my attention is in the background, you can see a couple looking at each other, lovingly, fondly, right? So, very nice. Okay, so the soul, what does the soul have to say? The three of pentacle, guidance. Um, where is it? This I think the feminine was bringing in this into the union for the twin flame stability, groundedness. Uh, but this talks about guidance, right? We we got that double sensation of feeling guided. So let's see what this says. So the three of pentacles. Eventually, I will find it. Oops. There we go. Okay. So this is what your soul is saying. The angelic figure with rainbow-colored wings on this card represents the guide that each of us carries within. Like the second figure in the background, we may sometimes be a little reluctant to trust the guide when it comes to us because we are so accustomed to taking our cues from the outside rather than from the inside. The truth of your own deepest being is trying to show where you uh, trying to show you where to go right now. And when this card appears, it means you can trust the inner guidance you are being given. It speaks in whispers, and sometimes we can hesitate, not knowing if we have understood rightly. But the indications are clear. The, fo the in following the inner guide, you will feel more whole, more integrated. And if are you, if you are moving outward from the very center of your being as if you are moving outward from the center of your being. If you go with it, this beam of light will carry you exactly where you need to go. Yeah, that's what I'm feeling. You know, um, you have this inner sanctuary happening with the star card, right? Very soothing, um, divine guidance um, kind of energy. It's like the universe is, is helping you to heal. And then we have that same thing happening over here spiritually. Your inner guide will lead you exactly where you need to go. Okay, so mental, we got a little blockage there. Um, physical, I feel this is a blockage because you have to stand your ground. You feel that there are forces that are trying to take something away from you. But spiritually, you know, emotionally, and your soul are, are kind of letting go, allowing, you know, destiny to bring, you know, that abundance into your life and also to help lead you on your journey. Okay, so I'm going to pull one card as a final message from the universe. I'm going to use the enchanted map.
Okay, so deep freeze. I was almost going to pull it upside down um, because, you know, this is upright. It's just the way I grabbed it. So it is upright. Okay, so everything has its season. Now's the time to put activity on hold while you rest. The cold winter beckons you to slow down and put a freeze on things that are not yet ready to bloom. I'm almost thinking this was supposed to be red in the reverse, but I'll read both, okay? So whatever resonates with you, take that. Okay, so it's time for regeneration and hibernation. Forego ambitious activity, a pregnant pause allows ideas to gestate, projects to shift and change and relationships to go through a dreamy state of being, not going anywhere, not, ooh, God, that scared me. Uh, my video is finished rendering, um, not needing to. This is also a time to put <clears throat> all your arguments on ice. Nothing beneficial will come from any of them. Self-care is the most important activity right now. So reflect, read a good book and get a massage. Rest and dream. So this was a similar energy that was coming out from the masculine side to find enjoyment in the simple pleasures of life. But initially it came out in the reverse. So let me read that to you. <clears throat> okay, so reversed. Nothing you can do right now will amount to anything substantial, no matter how much you try to push, manipulate, or conjole. Life wants you to take a break. You need to do this now, lest you become exhausted and be forced to rest. What you need will be there uh, for you when you emerge in the springtime. For now, winter has its own ideas for you. Wait for a sign of spring. So serendipity cards showed up in the Twin Flame reading. Um, so what I'm immediately felt with this is that you need to look for signs and synchronicities. There's messages that um, are coming to you and you need to be aware of them. Uh, but also, you know, what I'm feeling here is surrender to the divine spirit to guide you. Um, there's nothing that you need to do that's important, you know, that's pressing. So whatever this tension is in the physical, um, you know, the universe is telling you to let go of control, you know, allow that pregnant pause, that gestation to transform. Um, yeah, because I, I see a lot of thoughts happening here. Should I reach out? Should I give this person my heart? Um, you know, what do I do? But really at the core of who you are, you are surrendering to accepting that you're being divinely guided, right? There is nothing that you need to do. All right, so um, please like, comment, uh, share, and subscribe. Um, yeah, definitely comment, guys, because that's how I know if I'm on the right track. All right, cheers. Love you. Peace.